This is the 1997 Honda Odyssey. This one has a four wheel drive. This is a factory right hand drive vehicle. This one has the 2.2 liter four cylinder gasoline engine with an automatic transmission. And this one only has 90,500 miles. And it is in very, very good shape. This is a white outside color with the tan interior. And it's very nice. Very, very clean. This one has the fog lights at the bottom, which is nice. Really help out a lot. Um, also, this one has the factory bubble wind guards, which are right there. And it has the roof rack rails, which you can put crossbars up there and run a cage if you have to. Also, this one has 15 inch alloy wheels with like, they're Yokohama tires, but they got about 90% tread on them. So they're pretty close to new. It's in very, very good shape. Um, it does have a few cosmetic flaws on the outside. Um, it had some scratches up here, which has been touched up. And here too as well, that scratches, not rust. It's not rusty, it just scratches. Um, I guess whenever they did that, they ran a scratch right here. And it ran all the way through there. And they put a little small ding right here. Just not too noticeable with it being a white vehicle. Um, it has a small little touch-up spot right here and right there. Um, the windshield doesn't have no cracks, nicks, scratches, nothing like that. This one's in super, super clean shape. Does have another touch-up spot right here and right here. A small little scratch right here. Um... It's nothing major, it's probably, eh, it might buff out. It's real, real small. Um, the body on it's absolutely straight on this side. And on the other side, it's got, other than that door, um, then, which doesn't do anything, like it doesn't mess anything up um, as far as, you know, functionality. But the body is still very, very straight. Other than that back door and that small little scratch. There's no rust though, so it's in, it's in very nice shape. The roof is solid. No clear coat fade, nothing like that. And the back's also in very good shape. Uh, this one does have the stainless uh, like protector, bumper protector, so you can set stuff on it. And it's the actual like, Odyssey, Odyssey, Honda Odyssey one. So it's nice. And this is a all wheel drive model, as you can see. See in there? Surprisingly, it's in not really any, uh, one of those tiny touch up spot. Usually I have scratches and dents in the rear bumper, but this one does not. It's in very good shape. As you can see, the body is straight right here. There ain't nothing there. That's, that's all good. Well, that's the underneath. As you can see, it's rust free. And even all the shocks and everything got the original paint on it. The bolts are still shiny. This is crazy. Very, very clean. As you can see, it's rust free. Everything's in very good shape, very clean shape. And all the bolts are even still shiny. It's the exhaust. It is very clean, no rust. All the paint's still even shiny on the, like the control arms and everything. It's freaking crazy. Let's 
as you can see no quarter panel none of that rust none of that everything's in good shape underneath too as well Everything's in good shape. See all the white, original paint. All original white paint. No rust nowhere. That's from the scratch and the touch up. It's not rust. As you can see, no rust. That's from where they scratched from here and there. Everything's very clean. Sun's right in the way, ain't it? Yeah, it's all very clean, I think. A very clean vehicle. Alrighty, let's check out the interior. This is the passenger front door. As you can see, it's got the wood drain, which is nice all the way through here and all doors um, door panels in pretty much perfect condition no wear or tear or anything like that on it as you can see even the bolts are still shiny right here everything is in very good shape no rust it's a little dirty but not rusty and that same here no rust at all Very clean. Very, very clean. It's the passenger seat. Um, looks like it's never been used. I mean, I don't think it has. I mean, it's spotless. The dash does not have any cracks on it. It does have the airbags, which is a good safety feature. Driver wheel and the dashboard. Now this one does have navigation, but it's an overseas navigation. Won't work in America. Um, I don't know, maybe you can program it somehow at the Honda dealership, but I doubt it. Um, it has cassette. Uh, also you got the Bluetooth transponder, which you can sync your phone up to it and play music like Bluetooth, music through the Bluetooth. Have hands-free calling all, you know, uh, uh, you know, call, hang up. Um, also got the, three amp and the one amp charging port also it has the cup holders here i got the ashtray don't look like it's ever been used and definitely not a smoker car because i don't see any signs of smoking has the cigarette lighter has the compartment to store stuff got your glove compartment with all the owner's manuals and stuff also 
down here, you got the 10 disc, I think it's a 10 disc, 10 disc CD changer. Yep, with the cartridge. No, this one's a six, six disc CD changer. Gathers, which is a Honda company, exclusive. Um, yeah, changer. Uh, also, uh, the carpet's perfect too as well. I mean, it looks like they literally had no one ever in here. Super clean, super, super, super clean. I like the graphic design on this thing. It's got like these crazy lines, which is cool on the tan interior. It's pretty neat. And this is to hang stuff on, I don't know, like purse or I don't know, grocery bags. It's got one here. You can hang stuff on one right there. I guess somebody, whoever had this, put it on there. I thought it was pretty neat, so I didn't remove it. Let's check out the driver's side. Also on the mirrors, they got these, which are helpful. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And they're power mirrors. Same here. Yeah, it's got the bubble wind guards too, which is nice. Protect it from when you're raining. It's the actual Odyssey one. As you can see, Odyssey. They're pretty big, so it'll protect it when it's raining. So you can open the door. And rain won't get on you when it's raining. It's the driver's side door panel, also in pristine shape. It has the retractable mirrors, power mirrors, power locks, I mean power power mirrors, power locks, power windows. And as you can see, the door is pristine shape. Same here, bolts are even shiny. Very, very clean, no rust. As you can see, spotless. Same down here. No rust nowhere. It's the driver's seat, also in pristine shape. No wear or tear, nothing like that. It's the carpet is also in pristine shape. It even got the leather here, which is pretty nice. And uh, it's got the pedals and everything like that, all in very, very good shape. And the carpet underneath is pristine. So, yeah, it's in very, very good shape. Steering wheel is also in good shape as well. No wear and tear or anything like that. Don't look like it's hardly been used. Even the lettering on the turn signals, as you can see, it's in very, very good shape. Got the coin holder here. Yeah, I like that leather, man. That's a good touch. It's pretty cool. Um, as far as the headliner goes, it's also perfect. I mean, nowhere or tear or any sign of that. I mean, it's nice. And same with the sun visors. They're also in pristine shape. And it's got the stainless chrome accents. It's cool. I like that. I think this is a gatherer's edition. It's like a 10th anniversary model. But like, I have no idea to way to prove it you know but you know i believe so because all the graphics and the small little cool touches to it and the radio i mean the disc changer <clears throat> you got the drink holder place to put your wallet and cell phone as you can see it's also pristine shape over here nothing it does have one little scratch right here same here no rust nothing still shiny metal same here no rust nothing very very clean carp is perfect it does have one stain right here it's a stain it kind of sucks but whatever it's part of it it's not a brand new car still sucks but you know it is what it is this is how clean it is though um that's the original you know film from the factory so underneath it's definitely spotless it's from factory film from 97 <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> um, 
the seats all they recline so you can recline it like this and then you can fold it forward fold it all the way in and then just turn this lever and the seat picks itself up it does have this which you put it on here and it prevents it from flipping forward or backward when you get gas as you can see the carpet's perfect same here everything's pretty much perfect it does have one small stain right here but other than that is pretty close to perfect <laughs> I've ever had this took real good care of it. It's the passenger rear door. Also pretty much mint condition. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, it is mint condition. It don't have nothing. It's got the ashtray right there too. Uh, so that's cool. Yeah, it doesn't have anything on it, no scratches, nothing. And the same on the side, very clean. Shiny bolt from 97, which is nuts. Very, very clean. No rust. Same here. I had to get that acorn out of there. Yeah, no rust. Very clean. Same with the seat. No rust at all. I mean, the seat's are very clean. No, uh, no stains, wear, or tear, nothing. That seat better than have no rust. <laughs> You're in a bad spot. The seat also reclines, folds forward. Click it, it. Just literally lift it up just a little bit and goes by itself. Put that there. Carpet's pristine. Other than, no, this one doesn't have no stains. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't have nobody back here. Same with the rear seat, everything's perfect. It does have one small little stain, which should probably be cleaned out. Other than that, everything's in very good shape. Um, the seats in the back fold in into the floor. Also very clean. Yes. Uh, we can remove these seats for you if you'd like. Um, I don't know what you're going to use this vehicle for, but if you're going to use it for mail carrying. Uh, we can remove this back seat for you for free. Pull it out. Um, and we can also uh, remove those. We'll just unbolt them. And when you get them to your house, um, just put them in your closet or, you know, garage. So let us know which seats we need to remove. Um, for max cargo capacity, we can also remove the panels, which gives you about a foot and a half extra room here. And if we can remove this panel here, it'll, you'll keep the spare tire because you need that. Um, we'll remove the panel and it'll give you also a foot and a half room over there. So it'll be a lot of room if you remove all the seats. This vehicle was a passenger vehicle overseas, so it has never been on no mail routes or nothing like that. Um, if you want us to give it max capacity for a cargo room, um, just let us know. Um, some people like to keep these in here. Um, other people, you know, want max room, so they'll have us pull them out. So let us know what you want to do. Uh, we'll remove them for free for you. It only takes half an hour. Very easy to do. So, and we'll put all the bolts in the original bolt holes so you won't lose them and there won't be no holes looking into the ground. So there won't be no water getting in here. So, yeah, let us know. Let us know what you want to do. Um, the seats do fold into the floor. So if this is enough cargo room for you, then that's awesome. Some people need more, some people need less. Uh, click this and um, just let go of this and it just drops in just like that and that gives it plenty of cargo room also back here as you can see it's no rust nothing like that very clean it's got a little bit of dirt but no rust it's just dirt not rusty All right, and this one has the backup mirror so you could look from that mirror right there into this one right here and lets you know how close you are to the vehicle behind you. And 
this is what it looks like from the from the inside for your cargo room and then if you know if you want max capacity it's just two bolts these come they lift right up and two bolts right here and this one lifts right up and there'll be a lot more room so just depending on what you want just let us know all righty let's check out underneath the hood This is underneath the hood. As you can see, the bolts, there are no rust on them. None. I mean, it's very, very clean. This vehicle is definitely rust free. Even the, the hood latch opener is rust free. I believe that's an alarm system. Yeah, I believe it has an alarm system on it. Um, so that's a plus, you know. But I don't think anybody's going to be stealing a 97 Honda Odyssey, but you never know. You know, usually they steal challengers and chargers uh, or, you know, with the Hellcat motors that are worth a bunch of money. But you never know. Somebody might want a Honda Odyssey and that alarm system will protect, prevent that from happening. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, as far as service on this vehicle, um, we changed the oil and oil cap. I mean, uh, oil and oil filter. Uh, we changed the radiator cap. Um also uh we changed the air filter it's got a brand new air filter uh we also put a new uh, die hard battery in here we also flushed the transmission fluid so it's got a new transmission fluid in it uh we also put a new starter in it it's just got a brand new starter it was working okay but it was kind of sluggish so we just changed it out um what else we drained and filled the rear end fluid and we used honda specific dual pump fluid that's what you have to use um every thirty thousand miles it's just one quart um i would highly recommend you doing it um is drain and fill the rear end it's just one quart of honda dual pump fluid it's only eight dollars at the honda dealership you know to buy it and just drain it and fill it um it's not too hard to do and also at the same time drain and fill the transmission it's just three quarts to drain it and three quarts to fill it up and um, clean off the drain plugs because they got magnets at the bottom of it and this thing will literally last forever so if you do that i mean it, it won't cost much It'll probably be you know if someone if a shop does it i mean you're probably looking at with the fluids and everything about 200 bucks you know 250 dollars tops because shops cost a bunch or if you have some mechanic knowledge which it doesn't take much on these um you know just you can just pull it up and drain it and fill it in your driveway you know the transmission you could fill right here through the through the dipstick just right through there you can fill it up strain it you know clean off the plug and you have to have it on level ground and turned off you know and they can just check it because it's got the what do you call it the reading on there see for full so and then the rear end it's real easy it's just one hose to drain which is at the bottom you know you know take the drain plug out and then put that back in clean it off and then the, the fill plugs right above it so you fill it through the fill plug and you take the plug out unscrew it and fill the rear end fluid through that it's 0.9 of a quart so one quart you know will be plenty and it'll drip out the little bit that um it's over so you'll fill it up and you'll see it come pour out that means it's full which is not a full quart it's just right under it so one quart will do it just in case you spill a little bit but yeah it's real easy to maintain these um these things uh you know it's nothing really to them also um the timing belt valve cover spark plugs plug wires serpentine belt um water pump and tensioner uh, was replaced at 81,102 miles. So 81,102 miles, it was replaced. So that was 9,398 miles ago. So, I mean, the timing belt, tensioner, water pump, serpentine belts, um, spark plugs, plug wires, and valve cover gasket was done 
9,398 miles ago, which is very recent. So you don't have any kind of major uh, mechanical stuff maintenance-wise to do. So just pretty much hop in and go. I mean, you really don't have to do a whole lot. So um, just every 30,000 miles, uh, drain and fill the transmission is three quarts and the rear end one quart. And this thing will last a very, very long time. And keep up with your oil. I mean, do the oil. I'll do it every 4,000 miles. You know, 3,500 to 4,500 miles. So, you know, if you want to do it early, 3,500 miles. If you want to do it a little bit later, like, you know, it's not going to hurt it much. You could do 4,500 miles. But, you know, every 35 to 4,500 miles, do the oil. And she'll last a long, long time. Some people are more... Uh, particular about maintenance and they do their oil a little early you know some do it a little bit later you know these things it's a very very good motor really reliable so even if you do do it you know a little bit later it's not going to hurt it none they're, they're built really really well it's not like some of this new stuff you have <coughs> all right um let's take it for a ride let's fire it up and take it for a spin There's no check engine lights or nothing like that on. Just the door open and the seat belt. Then back here, as you can see, no smoke, idles just fine, nothing, no dripping, nothing. I mean, she runs real quiet. It's a very nice Honda Odyssey. Right, let's go for a spin. As you can see, this Honda Odyssey is in kilometers. So it has 145,654 kilometers, uh, which converts to 90,500 uh, miles. Actually, it's a little bit over because I went to the store to get something to uh, drink. So it's probably got like six more miles on it. So it's, uh, I guess it would be 90,500 and six miles somewhere in there um yeah you can tell it's in kilometer because the kmh at the bottom and uh 180 that's the max speed for this vehicle and it's in kilometers because it'll never do 180 miles an hour I promise you that um unless you put a rocket behind it you know then maybe you might do that <laughs> but you know that motor will not go 180 i promise you that um so yeah it's a you know it's a low mileage vehicle um, this vehicle is registered to us, Dalton Pike Motors LLC. Uh, we are a used car dealer here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Um, this uh, Honda Odyssey has a clean Tennessee title, which can be registered anywhere in America except for um, California and uh, Maine. If you're in Maine, you might have to check and see if you can register in, uh, you know, where you're, what county you're in. There's a few counties in Maine that, uh, you know, vehicles uh, like this have trouble getting registered in but yeah california you know you just have to find out with your county if you can do it um you know they have a lot of strict regulations out there um, and that's not good you know so but everywhere else no problem register right away no problem at all just like a regular vehicle this vehicle is located at our dealership uh here in cleveland tennessee uh, if you want to come check this vehicle out, you're more than welcome to. Uh, we have a full service shop, so we can lift it up for you. You can check out the underside of it if you need to. Um, also, if you want to bring your mechanic buddy down here, he can check it out for you. It ain't no problem at all. And uh, we do also welcome third-party inspections. So if you want to get a third-party inspection, um, just let us know. We'll put the lift on. I mean, we'll put the vehicle on lift for the inspector. Have him check it out. Also, uh, if you're from out of town and you wanted to fly in, you do not have to get a rental car. Um, just fly into the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport and we'll come pick you up. Um, it's not a problem at all to pick you up, take you back, or uh, if you want to drive home, you know, we are a used car dealer here in Cleveland, Tennessee. 
and uh, we do specialize in right-hand drive vehicles. Um, also, since we are a used car dealer, we can write you out a 30-day tag, and you'll be good to go immediately. Um, so, you know, you'll have a plate on your vehicle, and you're good to go. The vehicle will come with a 30-day tag regardless. Um, so, whenever you get the vehicle, uh, it's good to go. Just pop it in and drive. We also do deliver. So if you want this vehicle delivered to your door, um, just let us know where you're at and we'll give you the exact amount for delivery. So it's not a problem. Also for payment, we accept cash, cashier, check, money order, bank wire transfer. Uh, we accept also personal check, but we hang on to the vehicle and the title until the check clears. We also do accept credit card for full payment and partial payment. Also, we do have financing options available, so let us know if you need to get financing. For more information, you can call or text 423-331-6050, call or text anytime. As you can see, the vehicle rides perfectly straight, no problems at all. Um, overall, very, very good vehicle. And uh, that is 70, 75 mile an hour. Like she'll roll, doesn't shake, nothing. I mean, she runs very, very well. That's yeah, pushing close to 80 right there. See, 80 mile an hour, nothing. And she runs good. Yeah. And as you can see, it does not overheat. I mean, she runs good. It's just overall great vehicle. Uh, let us know if uh, you, know, you want this vehicle. So, alrighty. Um, thank y'all and uh, have a blessed day.